Strathcona Fjord on Ellesmere Island is a key fossil site in Canada's high Arctic. It preserves the remains of unique fossil mammal species and tells us what the Eocene looked like about 50 million years ago. While today Ellesmere is a polar desert, this diorama illustrates what it would have looked like during the early Eocene. I'm Natalia Rybczynski, a vertebrate paleontologist here at the Canadian Museum of Nature. In the course of my research in the Arctic, I collaborate with other paleontologists, including Mary Dawson from the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. Mary is a pioneer of Arctic paleontology. In 1975, she made the first scientific discoveries of Eocene land vertebrates on Ellesmere Island. As you see in the diorama, 50 million years ago, the Arctic was a wet, swampy place, similar to the modern cypress forests of the American South. The vertebrates with alligators and a lot of turtles and so forth certainly indicate a uh, a different climate from the climate of today. This is austere, high, cold Arctic. Uh, in addition, there's a certain light regime. The, the sun is up all summer and there is no, there's darkness all winter. And that was true in the Eocene also. At that time, Ellesmere Island was mostly covered by lush deciduous forests. The Strathcona Fjord area was a valley that contained an extensive river system and swamps that drained into a shallow sea. It was a rich ecosystem and provided unusually good conditions for preserving fossil remains and making coal. The dinosaurs had gone extinct and many of the modern groups of mammals appeared, including modern carnivores, bats, and rodents. Many fossil mammal species from Strathcona Fjord are unique. The fossils include evidence of some highly specialized early primate species. Many plagiomenids are also found here. Plagiomenids are an extinct group that thrived on Ellesmere. They probably lived in trees. Some researchers considered them to have been related to today's flying lemurs. The primate and plagiomenid species, as well as others from Ellesmere Island, have not been discovered anywhere else in the world. The appearance of unique species in the Eocene Arctic may be associated with a unique combination of warm temperatures, high rainfall, and extreme seasonal light and dark cycle. Today, vertebrate fossils are found throughout the layers of compressed beds of sediment and coal, the remnants of the lush Eocene forests. Paleontologists use these exposed coal beds as markers to look for fossils. The beds themselves also provide insight into Arctic climate change. These fossils are small and are often broken up by the freeze-thaw cycle of the permafrost, making them difficult to find and collect. The fossils of Strathcona Fjord on Ellesmere Island include some of the first pre-Ice Age land vertebrates collected in the high Arctic. Modern climate change, mining, development and tourism in Nunavut could destroy this and other critical areas and their important fossil records. The Canadian Museum of Nature, in cooperation with Nunavut, has the responsibility for caring for these fossils. This commitment is part of the museum's long tradition of exploration and research in the Canadian High Arctic. The continued study of these sites has implications for our understanding of evolution and climate change. It provides our only glimpse into a rare moment in the Earth's history, when our planet was under extreme greenhouse conditions. As global temperatures are again on the rise, this important record may help us better understand our warming planet.